with the zombie apocalypse. Foreign policy reports the unclassified document explains how to respond to many kinds of walking dead, including chicken zombies. The Pentagon says the plan is an in-house training tool to teach students how to deal with widespread national emergency. So the CDC made a poster that said, get a kit, make a plan, be prepared. And they have the creepy, grave-looking fingers staring out of the window. So I'm going to explain to you a little later on in the video as to why they used that particular image of grave-looking fingers staring out of a window. So the CDC puts out this zombie apocalypse preparedness kit in the year 2011 and they also have numbered it 6023 and in the world of numerology which is what these Satanists participate in 6023 equals 11 6 plus 2 plus 3 in the year 2011. The reason they put it out in the year 2011 and they typed it as 6023 is because in numerology, 11 represents spirituality. It's the highest level. These elites, these politicians, our government is telling you to prepare for this day. They are literally telling you to spiritually and physically prepare for a zombie apocalypse. This is not to be confused with the alleged power grid attack that the United States is going to suffer. This is something totally different. And I've seen a lot of people combine the two with dreams and things that they've seen. There's so much misinformation on the internet, but I'm here to tell you, this is something completely different. One of those events is man-made. The three days of darkness is not man-made. It is totally induced by God. I compare this prophecy to the Bible. So let's get started. So the three days of darkness prophecy starts with the sky is going to turn into a weird color. It's almost like a sign to tell God's people that they should get inside. And so I've also heard that your guardian angel will automatically transport you into your home or into a safe place. Um, so the two beginnings vary. However, we do know that you have to, once you're in your, in your home, do not look out the windows and do not open your doors because you will see demons in their truest form and you will die of fright instantly. So the prophecy says do not look out of your window. This is why the CDC has someone staring out of the window. Also, uh, God's chosen people who will be in their homes, God tells us to get a blessed candle. Blessed candle. That candle will burn for three days. Also, your soul will also give light. Those that are in a state of grace, your soul will give light. And those that are not in a state of grace, but believes in God, whatever demons that you have not surrendered will torment you. This is what the prophecy says. Also, when the demons come to your door, they will pretend, they will try to trick you, and they will sound like one of your relatives, your grandmother, your mom, your dad, your child, to entice you to open up the door, and then you will instantly die on the spot. So this is the zombie apocalypse that they are so excited about. They cannot wait until they have that day 
when they can come in their truest form, those that are cloned or human synthetics, and we've seen them glitching and their eyes turn into reptilian, they will take on the truest demonic form. And they will have people that will see them and will die in fright. So let, and, and also I wanted to say that this is, has nothing to do with the rapture. And no king, queen, president, prime minister, senators, no one will be exempt. The entire globe will experience this. And now I want to compare this prophecy with the Bible. So it starts in the book of Revelations, chapter 6. Now the first 11 verses of what happens. So I don't want anybody to think that the three days of darkness is going to happen this year. It's going to happen next year. I see all sorts of things on the internet. It's not true. It's, how do I know it's not true? Verses 1 through 11 has to happen first. The Antichrist, plagues, sickness, death, famine, war, and Christians will be martyred. Verses 12 through 17 leads into the people who are part of the tribulation. And those who live through the tribulation, the 144,000 people, 12,000 from each tribe, these are the people that will have the seal of the living God on their foreheads. And God will reward them with white robes and they will be a part of the, the people that are able to worship in front of the throne of God. While giving this prophecy, it's called the Book of Truth. And in that Book of Truth, there are prayers that came out of it called Crusader Prayers. Prayer number 33 is the seal of the living God. And I have it in my bio. You can take a look at it. And we are to pray that prayer daily. Oh my God, my loving Father, I accept with love and gratitude your divine seal of protection. Your divinity encompasses my body and soul for eternity. I bow in humble thanksgiving and offer my deep love and loyalty to you, my beloved Father. I beg you to protect me and my loved ones with this special seal and I pledge my life to your service forever and ever. I love you, dear Father. I console you in these times, dear Father. I offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, in atonement for the sins of the world and for the salvation of all your children.